on guys the blue obsession I'm back with another video um, today I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different I've been getting a lot of requests for um, to do like entire collection videos but as you can see I'm standing here in my blue corner and that would take way too long so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be breaking it down into different sections and it'll be kind of a whole series so I hope you guys like that today we're gonna be going over this section right here which as you can tell is the Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, slash Terminator collection. I want to take a second and thank you guys for the support. You guys have been giving my channel um, all the recent subscribers that I have been getting. You guys are so awesome. Um, all you long-term subscribers, love you guys. Um, always love you guys leaving the comments down below. So if you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Um, Subscribe if you're not already subscribed because I want you guys to keep catching these videos. I love doing these videos for you guys. I love sharing my massive collection. We get a lot of questions lately about how many movies I actually own. Um, a rough count, it's somewhere around 1900 something. I haven't done a full count just because I've been buying so many lately. If you guys missed my last video where I did my end of the month uh, for the month of November, I had 90 pickups. And that's not even including the unboxing I did of 13 packages um, like two weeks before that. And a lot of those were like the, some of these uh, Disney slip covers that you see above me here. Um, and I'm going to go over that collection on another video um, as well as everything else that I have. But today we're going to be doing Schwarzenegger. I'm wearing my Come With Me If You Want to Lift shirt. Um, it's that campaign he was doing um, maybe like two years ago. Uh, kind of encouraging people to get into the gym and stuff like that. So, you know, you got to stay pumped. It's Arnold. But uh, we're going to dig into this collection right here. Right, we're going uh, to start things off right here on this little wall. Uh, this is my Predator 3D and uh, Terminator Genesis 3D. Got Predator 3D on Black Friday this last uh, Black Friday 2017. I really wanted to find the slip cover for it too, but the uh, Best Buy did not have any slip covers and I went to two other Best Buys and could not find a slip cover for it, but that's alright. I got a friend through a Facebook group that is hooking me up. I believe the slip is in the mail right now, so I can't wait to get that one. And I have a slip already for Genesis 3D. These two are my DVD uh, Terminator lenticular slip covers. So I've got Predator there and Terminator there. I got those pretty good deal, half price books. I think they were both in the um, two or three dollar range. On I think I think Predator was even in the clearance section. So really cool to find those two lenticulars. Here I have the Terminator uh, lenticular. This one my mom found me at a pawn shop locally for like three dollars, and I actually didn't even know about it. So when she gave it to me, she was like, "Here you go, I found us at a pawn shop. Think you might like this." I said, "Oh heck yeah!" So got that one. This is the T2 Judgment Day Extreme DVD Metal Box that I found at Half Price Books for $2 on clearance. And it's really cool. It's got this like metal box it's in. So really cool. And the um, Terminator, you know, the um, endoskeleton is all embossed. So really cool. These are my three U.S. you know really still books. I know there's a bunch of Terminator still books that are uh, foreign. There's like Korean still book, and there's you know there's still books from all over the place. I don't really, uh, I'm not gonna really seek those out. If I find them in the wild, I'll pick them up. But these are the three that I have right now. This is the Mondo uh, Judgment Day T2 still book. This is the Best Buy uh, T2 still book. And this one I got recently at a used media store in Tennessee, uh, Terminator Genesis still book. Pretty cool. I think I got it for like $10. So it was actually a really good deal. Um, Genesis, you know, there's the, um, the lenticular uh, slip cover for Genesis. The, not the best Terminator movie, but also not the worst. Um, I did enjoy it for what it was. So got those two there. And then this is going to be my uh, just regular Blu-ray release. Uh, Terminator films so I got the Terminator the the newer uh, remaster it looks really cool um, I'm sure they probably in, you know jumped up the image quality a little bit picture quality so I'm still gonna check it out but it looks really cool in the collection so I got um, Terminator there Judgment Day T2 probably one of my favorites of the whole thing um, obviously these two kind of are a tie for me love Judgment Day watch it so many times uh, just recently 
when they put it back in a theater in 3D. My wife and I went and saw it. It looks so awesome in 3D. Uh, definitely can't wait to own it in 3D. Uh, also, I'm looking forward to when they finally, you know, come out with a real street release date of um, the 4K remaster of Judgment Day. So, looking forward to that. Got Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines. Uh, probably the least favorite of the original trilogy, but really do still like the film. Arnold's in it. Um, thought it was a great film still. Uh, so, I did enjoy that one. Uh, the Terminator Salvation. This one obviously doesn't have Arnold in it. Uh, it's Christian Bale who plays John Connor. Um, he there is a CGI um, Schwarzenegger, you know T, um, you know 800 in it. But uh, did enjoy this film a lot. I really enjoyed a lot of aspects of it. I, it was a great film, so I still enjoy having it in my collection. All it also has this really um, sweet, you know, slip cover. Lots of color pop out, um, you know, embossed. So pretty cool. And this is just a standard uh, Blu-ray release of Terminator Genesis. Um, just have it because it's a cool slip cover and, you know, goes good in the collection. Obviously, I got like four or five Judgment Day copies and I got a couple uh, the Terminator copies, stuff like that. Here's going to be all his other, you know, movies and so. Uh, these are all DVD on this top shelf. Uh, Pumping Iron, the legendary, you know, uh, documentary. Of his, you know, his last, I guess, year or two of competing professionally in uh, Mr. Olympia. And a uh, great documentary. I've watched this a thousand times. Um, if you're a big Arnold fan or if you're a fan of bodybuilding, this is the documentary to watch. Um, along with some other ones out there, but this is the one I like. So Pumping Iron, Stay Hungry, um, another great older uh, Schwarzenegger film. Jeff Bridges, Sally Field. This one I think was filmed... During his last year or so of bodybuilding, 76, I think 77 was his last year. I know he came back again, but as far as in that stretch of like the seven years or so. Um, so great movie there. I haven't seen it in a long time, so I need to rewatch it. Uh, Hercules in New York. This was really like his first like real like Hollywood kind of movie. Uh, where, you know, it's kind of his dream of coming to New York from, you know, uh, Austria and uh, good film got that one on DVD because I don't know if it has a blu-ray release so have that one for now the villain this one was actually kind of a interesting one because it's a Western and uh, it's actually a good movie I enjoyed watching it um, Arnold he does a good job man he he, he does his thing it's a uh, it's a great watch so uh, check it out it used to be for free to watch uh, the entire movie on YouTube I don't know if it still is, but check it out if you can. Otherwise, you know, track it down if you're interested. Got this one on Amazon, I think, for like $5, so it's a good deal. Red Sauna. I uh, haven't seen this movie in a long time. It's one of his older films as well. Uh, if there is a Blu-ray release, I think it's out of print, or it might be like a UK um, version. I just um, I haven't tracked it down yet, so I got the DVD for now. I think I paid like 2 or $3 for it at FYE. True Lies, uh, any Schwarzenegger fan should agree with me that why the heck do we not have a Blu-ray release in 2017, almost 2018, of True Lies? We need it. We want it. We got to have it. I sure got to have it. So, got True Lies on DVD, but I cannot wait for the Blu-ray release, and I will definitely be picking that up, throwing it in the collection, and uh, checking it out in high definition. This is my special edition Schwarzenegger um, the Running Man slipcover DVD. I got this at FYE for a dollar, guys. A dollar. And I have never seen that slipcover before. So I thought that was really cool. Um, got that in the collection. And it is a DVD, but I kept it, held on to it just because I thought it was so cool. And then this is going to be basically all the Schwarzenegger Blu-ray um, collection. And we'll go through them real quick. Um, a lot of the guys, you know, a lot of you guys have seen these films. Um, great films. There are a few that I'm missing just because they're either out of print or they're only right now in print for like UK and whatnot. But uh, we'll go through them real quick. We got The Sixth Day, which is, I really enjoyed that film. Collateral Damage, another great film. All these are great films, so I don't, I, I don't have to say that for all of them. But uh, Commando, Conan the Barbarian, Conan the Destroyer. I like the first one a little bit better, but that one was still good. End of Days, great movie. The Eraser, really enjoyed this one. I watched it, I've seen it multiple times. I really enjoyed it. Kindergarten Cop, man, who, I mean, 
the classic lines, you know, it's not the Duma, you know, shut up, you know, stuff like that. Great film, great acting. Love this film. I uh, used to watch, you know, and I used to go to Kansas all the time to see family, my cousins and brothers and, you know, siblings and whoever. We'd all get together and we'd watch Kindergarten Cop while all the adults would play in Scrabble or whatever. We would watch Kindergarten Cop just because we all enjoyed it. We made us laugh, so got that one in the collection. Last Action Hero. This one is a very, very underrated Schwarzenegger film. Uh, a lot of people have never even seen it that I talked to. And I'm just like, how are you not seeing Last Action Hero? I mean, basically, it's a, it's a movie about he's an actor, and he comes into the real world. He crosses over and realizes that, like, things in the real world are not like in the movies, you know? And it was just a really good film. I really enjoyed it. I've seen it multiple times. I think I've pinned my wife down to watch it before, and she really liked it. So, uh, glad to have that one. Predator needs no introduction or description at all because it's Predator. You know, great lines, great movie. Um, I know they've made sequels, but Predator is, is the one for me. I love that movie. I do have all the other Predator movies in the rest of the collection, um, but not in the Schwarzenegger collection, obviously. Red Heat, another great uh, Schwarzenegger film. Haven't seen it in a long time. I need to watch it again. The Running Man, finally glad to have this one on Blu-ray. Uh, I think I saw it the first time on Netflix years ago. And always wanted to own it. So when I found it at, uh, I think it was on Amazon. Good deal. I think it was like 11 bucks. So I picked it up. I wish they would have had a slip cover for it. But I don't know if there is one. As well as Stay Hungry. I was really happy to find a Blu-ray release of this. Um, also Amazon. I think they both were produced by, or I guess they came out with the same company. As you can see at the bottom here. Uh, I don't know if that will focus. So maybe they're going to go back through and get some of these older films uh, back on. Uh, you're going to basically get them on Blu-ray. That'd be really sweet to have, especially in the collection. Total Recall, another movie that needs no no description at all. It's Total Recall. Um, the remake with Colin Farrell was a pretty cool movie, but I, I prefer the original. I prefer just, I mean, it's cheesy, and uh, the special effects aren't, you know, anywhere near today's, you know, quality, but it's Arnold, man. I mean, it's, it's, it's just, I gotta have it. I love it, and it's always gonna be my favorite of the, of the two movies. Jingle All the Way, uh, it's December right now, so of course, number one movie I had to watch as soon as possible was Jingle All the Way. Obviously, I watched this um, other times of the year just because I really enjoy the film. Um, Schwarzenegger and obviously uh, Sinbad, uh, Phil Hartman, um, great cast in this film. Great lines, you know, put the cookie down! You know, just, I love this film. Great movie, um, obviously that's a little Anakin Skywalker right there. But, um, yeah, I love Jingle all the way, so I was really happy. And I actually have owned this a couple times, DVD, before. I had it on Blu-ray before this Blu-ray. And then this one came out with the extended director's cut, so I had to own it. I think I passed off my previous copy to my mom. She didn't have it in her collection. So, got to kill two birds with one stone there. So, the Jingle all the way. And then these five, these I have slip covers for. Uh, and these also are some of my you know, favorites of the Schwarzenegger films outside of the Terminator franchise. Um, great freaking films, man. Um, Skate Plan. This film is awesome. Stallone plays a really um, great role in it as well. Um, about them breaking out of a prison. If you haven't seen it, please check it out. Really awesome film. Really enjoyed that one. Then we have uh, The Last Stand. This one also is one of my favorites of the newer Schwarzenegger films. Uh, if you haven't seen this movie, it's great. Johnny Knoxville's in this as well. He's hilarious. So check out The Last Stand if you haven't already. Um, to kind of go with the, the genre of uh, zombies and whatnot, Maggie. I really enjoyed Maggie. I really did. Um, a lot of people did it. It was real slow for them or they just didn't really enjoy it. But I liked Maggie. I thought it was great. So um, check that one out if you guys haven't. Let's see. We got... Sabotage. This film, another one of my favorites recently. Great film. Um, got the slipcover for it finally. Check it out. If you haven't seen it, it's it's great. Um, I don't know. I don't want to spend too much time talking about all of these, but great film. And then one of his definitely his newest of Blu-ray release is um, Aftermath. Heard a lot of mixed reviews about this one. I have not gotten a chance to sit and watch it yet, but I want to. Um, I'm sure no matter what people say about it, I'm going to enjoy it because I love Schwarzenegger. I love his acting. 
I love his, his style. So check out Aftermath. Um, I don't know, that's, that's pretty much it as far as the Blu-rays go. I have also the Terminator, you know, four disc set, uh, box set um, of the, of you know, the four films. Salvation, it, obviously it's Missing Genesis, but I thought it was a really cool box set. I think I picked that up for like 15 bucks. So I got it in the collection. And this, not really being, you know, necessarily Schwarzenegger related, but it is Terminator related, was the uh, Terminator TV show, the Sarah Connor Chronicles. I really enjoyed this show. I thought it was great. Um, it really does a good job explaining a lot of the background of, of like the events and the storyline between the Terminator 1984 and obviously Judgment Day T2. Really great. I was really hoping that they would have kept continued and, and put out season three and the show got canceled. So, oh well. But I found these two really good deal. I really love watching this show. I've actually wa we watched it a few times. So I really like having that in the collection. Other than that, that really wraps up the Terminator um, collection, my, my Terminator collection. I know there's a few films that are still missing. They're just hard to track down. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick tour of the Terminator and uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger collection. I really hope you guys like that video. Um, I'm going to be doing more videos like this of like a entire Blu-ray collection series of videos. So if you guys like the video, please hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Uh, follow me on the Instagram under Blue Obsession. I do a lot of posts there. Um, and a lot of people personally message me there, movie recommendations. I have conversations with people on there. So I love to connect with you guys. Uh, other than that, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you guys on the next video.